Hi, my name is Steve Clifford and today I'm going to do a quick video to cover the five different carry methods that you can do with a rifle in the field. And usually there are only three that are referred to and I'm going to go over those first. And these first three work with either a sling or a carry strap. If you don't know the difference between them, well, look it up. Anyway, the first and most common way that people will carry a rifle is over the strong side shoulder with the muzzle up. This is referred to as American carry. And as you can see, you can use your hands, you can hike, you can go all day with this thing over your shoulder like this. If you need to use the gun, you move your arm out, grab the gun with your support side hand, and bring it out and take your snapshot with it. So again, very quick to get that into action for that snapshot. The other way that is most common in this country is what's referred to as African carry. African carry is muzzle down on your support side. And again, like the American carry, it keeps both hands free. You can move about and you can use it very quickly if you need it. Very, very quick into action. In fact, considerably quicker and with less effort than the American carry. Uh, especially if you just keep your hand on the forehead like this, then you just cross it up across your chest and bam, you're ready to go. So those are the most two common. There is a third method and that is referred to as European carry. This is a silly method uh, and it requires that you keep control of the forend of the gun. If you don't control the forend, then this muzzle can end up swinging in places that you don't want it. If you're doing a European style, uh, like a driven hog hunt, where you're just gonna be hiking short distances, that could be pretty quick. That's gonna be a real quick way to get into action, uh, but probably not real appropriate for a hike. So those are the most three common methods, and it works with either a carry strap or a shooting sling. Now the downside to this, and I want you to notice real quick here, is when I come into action, look at where this sling is. This sling is now just kind of draped willy-nilly across my arm. For a snapshot, that's not a big deal. You need to take that quick, just immediate shot, big deal where the sling is. But let's say you see something a longer distance that needs shot, and you drop down into a sitting position. Well, now you would like to use that sling as an actual sling, but now you have to let go, then loop up, and then get yourself into action. So it requires dexterity, time, movement, all things that under, under pressure might not go as well as you would like it to. Now with practice, of course, you can get very quick and smooth with it, but again, it, when, when that moment hits, everything has to come together right. So those methods aren't really ideal for carrying it uh, when you might need it to get into a supported position. So I came up with another way, and this way doesn't work with a carry strap. You need a sling, uh, either a Rhodesian, a CW, or a Ching sling. Frankly, I think even a military loop sling would work but you loop up first, then you just carry it on your hip. Now it looks right now like I'm holding the gun with my hand and, and I can, but I don't have to. I can let go, I can you know, use my binoculars, and but I can hike around like this all day long. It's a very comfortable position because all of the weight is on the sling and my, uh, and my hip. And then if I need to get a snapshot, bam very very quick and easy for the snapshot but if I need to get into a supported position well just keep forward pressure as you go down I can even drop the prone as long as I've kept that I've kept that forward tension on the sling as I'm going down it works just fine so I refer to that as the Clifford method because nobody else told me that they had used it before so that's one way and then alternate plan B from that is to tuck it under your arm like this 
I call this baguette carry. It looks like you're carrying a French bread baguette. Uh, again, you'll notice I'm not really putting any weight on my, on my hand. All the weight is on the sling here. And again, if I need it for a snapshot, bam, that's great. But if I need it to get down into a supported position, I'm already slung up. So I don't have to, like with the other methods, I don't have to you know, stick my hand through and get it slung up again. So a little faster for those supported positions. Anyway, that covers the three positions that work with any gun or with any sling, and then the two positions that work well with a, uh, with a loop sling. Just a kind of a quick hit video. I've covered these before, but I figured a nice short video to cover all of them in one quick video would be handy. My name is Steve Clifford. Please like and subscribe my YouTube channel.